so for making the zoom in zoom out transition at a smooth flow you have to like adjust all of the clips over here then first what we have to do we have add a keyframe over here at the starting then add a keyframe at the ending so at the ending will increase the skill so we can get the zoom in effect now add the keyframe to the every single clip to which you are going to add the zoom in effect then after adding this we will add zoom out effect for the zoom out what you have to do you have to go to the ending of a clip add a keyframe over there then go to the starting and increase the skill so we can get the zoom out effect now according to the clips add all of the keyframes like for the clips which you want to do the zoom in you can add the clips like add the keyframe at the starting then add the ending and then increase the scale for zoom out add a keyframe at the ending go to the starting and increase the scale simple then we have to add some graphs so you can use also the pre-made graph like the flow one to ease out and something like this but i will recommend that we sh you should use the linear graph for custom graphs so over here come to this one add a beat over here then set it to this line then go a little bit further like over here add a beat and set it like this onto the center line so we can get the flow that we want in our zoom in like the picture should come a little bit slower or a little bit faster then it should be slowed then it goes faster to so that uh, like the flow of the scale up looks like more effective and it should be similar like to the allied motion and after effects so add the same graph to all of the zoom in effect but for the zoom out what you have to do you have to add the same beats like this but instead of making this graph we will choose to make different graph so delete this beat go to this beat and adjust it like this it should be like a little bit above the, the center then the second one second beat should be a little bit downside now as you have understand that how we will add the graph now these are some custom graphs that i should recommend that you all learn while like zooming in and zooming out your clips because these types of clips and these type of zoom ins are more trending and for the zoom out you can also see that i am using this type of graph and after like you have completed your graph in between of all of the clips uh, you have to add some effects also okay so the reason behind adding the effects is to give some little bit movements and shakes to it so for that uh, before moving towards the effect check your video one or two times then go into the video effects and over here search the rebound effect okay you will go here type rebound effect or rebound search it you will get the rebounded swing then add that effect set the speed to 50 and the f uh what we can say the flow will be uh, 15 set the object to all videos then go back to the video effects and over here go into the lens and in the lens scroll down and search the chroma blur effect okay add that effect set the object to all videos and set the adjustment blur will be 10 and the chromatic little chromatic whatever that is is will be 50 and after that your smooth zoom in zoom out is clear the right left movement little bit the what we can say blur that we wanted in our clips is completed and i hope you guys have learned something new and you will try these type of zoom in in your edits till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out